It won't hurt to tell me what's on your mind, Rosalyn. We have to prepare breakfast, Mama. Come on. We've never had secrets. This suspense is killing me. I don't want your mother to go to an early grave. <laughs> that will kill me, Mama. Please don't die on me, at least not yet. <laughs> Whatever is on your mind must be a question of life and death. It is important. I just hope I have your blessings in advance. Anytime. Anytime, dear. You could always count on me. I hope there's nothing that I'll regret about. I just wish Maria would be here. You could always tell her when she gets back from her vacation. I love you, Mama. And I love you. Your brother is here. And this hope Maggie can make it too. You have been in touch. Yes, she promised she would come.
familiar. Morning. For how long have you been staring at me? Not long enough. Is it a crime? You tell me. You're the lawyer. Well, it is. And I'm guilty as charged. <laughs> What's the penalty? Don't pick it up. But that could be my client in trouble. I know. I'm the judge here. And I've already declared my verdict. So I have to work. I know you have to work. But I mean, why do you have to always run off and leave me here craving for you? What do you think you're doing? Making you notice me. This client is very important. Do you want us to get the Iraqi deal? Then it's important that you put your act together and stop behaving like a chicken. Yes, I'm serious. Good day. Hello, Jackson. <laughs> yes, give me the good news. What? Okay. Let nobody move. I'm on my way. Yeah. Rosalind, why don't you sit down and have your breakfast? I still have to serve Timothy, Mom. Your brother won't be joining us for breakfast this morning. Why? He always does. He's sleeping. I'll wake him up. It's not necessary. It's tradition for this family to have breakfast together. <sighs> Give it up, Rosa. Your brother is too drunk to join us. I'll be the judge of that. Rosalind! Unless you have a hearing problem, your mom says it's not necessary for him to join us. Why not? Do I have to answer that? Yes, Daddy. You should know the importance of family togetherness. Rosalind, listen to your father and sit down. No, I have something to say and I require the whole family to be here. Ah. Oh. What of your sister Margaret? How the hell are you going to get her here? Rosalind, go to your brother. What is wrong with me? Nothing, Daniel. Only that you have an attitude that you seriously and desperately need to work on. Why can't I have a quiet, Peaceful Saturday morning, without issues. Morning, Mom. Dad. Margaret. Yes, Dad. You're home? Yes, Dad, I'm home. And where have you been for the past six months? Rosa and I have been in touch. In touch? What of your mom? You didn't find it necessary to keep in touch with her. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm here to see Rosa, then I'll be on my way. It's okay, Margaret. She's upstairs talking to your brother. I'll wait in my room. If it's still there. Prodigal daughter is back now. Unlike usual. Your welcome was very fatherly. Don't start on me now, Mary. Daniel, Daniel. I mm. can't. Your children seem to be doing a pretty good job of it this morning. 
And what exactly does that mean? You're their father, not their lawyer. Mm. Excuse me. I'm late. Traffic. Well, I was starting to get a little bit uneasy. <laughs> Always messed up. Oh, right here. Mm. Mm. Good. Okay, put it back. All right, so uh, tonight uh, to our usual place, 7.30. Right. See you there. Okay. Yep. Timothy, you have to stop this. You're messing your life up and I can't stand it anymore. Come on. You've been through this before, Rosa. Please don't get started on it. Give it back to me, Rosa. No. I won't watch you mess your life up. For three months, all you've done is drink, drink and drink. What is wrong with you? If you weren't my sister, I'd propose to marry you. And I wouldn't marry you. You. That hurts, dear Rosa. You have to put your act together if you're ever gonna get any girl interested. I'm gonna stop drinking if I ever get a girl like you. You can't if you spend the best of your time drinking. What else am I supposed to do when uh, all I do is not appropriate as far uh, as that is concerned? You have to start living your own life, Timothy, and not that. You are your own person. <laughs> you speak as if you don't know our father. Hey. I thought there was an announcement you needed to make at the breakfast table. Timothy and I are coming. Your sister is here. Maggie is here. I don't know why you're sounding so surprised. She's here because you invited her. We're coming. Okay. 
I mean, you sound not content with the offer you just taken from your uncle. I'm okay with it, Sam. Timothy, you look nice. Thanks, Mom. Big sister, Rosa should get all the compliments. Mm -hmm. You also helped Timothy. Yeah. It's always good to have family together. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It reminds me how beautiful it is to be part and parcel of such a beautiful family. Timothy, you may have a drinking problem, but to me you're a darling. Aggie, you may at times be a pain in the neck, but it's a blessing to share such a wonderful mother with you. Mom, you're the best thing that ever happened to this family. You've been there for us, given us a sense of direction, and even showed us that we are needed, protected and loved. I'm proud to be called your daughter. Daddy, your strict upbringing, though harsh at times, has given us a perspective in life. You, however, have to let it happen, my dear Timothy. Yeah. Where is all this leading us all to, Rosa? We don't have the whole morning to listen to such speeches, you. Let the girl talk, Daniel. Why? So far she's given us sort of a farewell speech. As if she were traveling overseas. What makes you think she's not going there? Oh, Mary, please. Rosa can't go beyond the gate. Unless she's going to school or to some church function. Will you let her finish? Yes, Daddy. Rosa had something very important to say before she was rudely interrupted. Don't start with your father, Timothy. You know it won't lead anywhere. Why don't you all give Rosa a chance to say whatever it is she has gathered us here for? <laughs> so that you can go back to exile? I want to become a nun. Here together, put my hand. 